Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. <laughs> Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Archie Luxury channel. Guys, today I want to talk about why DHL and FedEx are the worst, the worst shippers to use for handling luxury watch sales. Now, a lot of people out there, especially in these COVID times here, are starting to explore the wonderful interweb. Find out about buying things from foreign lands, and uh, then, of course, once we've uh, once we've worked out, yes, they've got watches that we really want. Then we want to get it to our door. And a lot of shippers, a lot of stores use FedEx and DHL. And here I'm here to tell you why that is actually probably one of the the worst choices and the big problem with with DHL and FedEx is they are they have a special shipper status which allows them to assess 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 the uh, the items and uh, to collect duty for the government. That's correct, guys. They are basically self-assessment. They do the self-assessment. And because they've got this uh, status, um, they basically, um, how do I put this? They basically act as the customs broker, tax broker for the government. And they, they, they will crack the whip with you. They will crack the whip. You bring a watch in and you might say, hey, this watch is a returned repair. They'll ask for proof that it's been repaired. They'll ask for proof that you actually sent it to this uh, person in the first place. Now, they will be extremely aggressive. And I've got to tell you things, they can be very, very nasty indeed there. I know one guy, he had a watch, had a, he had it for a while. He sent it back to a seller, and when it was repaired, sent, they sent it back by FedEx or DHL. And sure enough, they wanted proof that he had sent it to them in the first place, and it got really difficult. So if you think you're going to... Uh, pull a Swifty with DHL or FedEx, you've got another thing coming. You will be paying full duty, full duty, full taxes, full absolute everything. Otherwise, they damage their instant self-assessment status with customs. And for someone like DHL or FedEx, it's a very important thing to have. Now, I've just come across a bit of a disaster. Let me tell you what happened. I bought a wristwatch from a Japanese seller. And uh, Japanese sellers will never underquote. They will always play it by the book. Thank you. Thank you. The only problem was I'm not really sure whether the watch they sent me was 100% kosher. It was a ladies' Cartier. And I basically got slaughtered on the taxes when it came in. Fair enough. Fair enough. But I've now sent the watch back. I have sent the watch back. And I've actually got, I've sent it back via EMS through my post office. And now I want to get my duty and taxes back. So I rang my, my DHL and guess what? They basically told me, oh no, nothing to do with us. We were just the agents who are handling it for you. No, 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 nothing, nothing to do with us. Sorry, sir. Um, I said, well, hang on a minute, guys. You, you produced this invoice here. I had to pay $420.
and 87 cents. I said, guys, I want to get my money back. I've sent the item back. I suspect the item may be counterfeit. I want my money back. I want to get my duty back. And they said, no, 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 we can't help you. You need to go to Australian Border Force. And uh, Australian Border Force, that's a government... These are the same people who are trying to bring back 30,000 Aussies who are stuck overseas. Yeah. Could you imagine... Uh, I tried to ring him. You're on the phone all day. So the refund application is actually a four-page thing to fill out. Four pages. And on the third page there, the refund applicant, it talks about things, tariff classification number. Well, there's nothing about that on the, the Fed DHL invoice. It asks you... Uh, related transaction indicator, valid valuation basis type, establishment code, treatment code, GST exemption code. Uh, it goes on to origin and preferences, treatment instruments, instrument type, tariff classification instruments, uh, instrument number, uh, it's just an absolute quagmire. Now, this form might be okay when you've got a shipping container and you're trying to claim something like that, but for just a normal guy who bought a watch from overseas, you've got to fill out these four pages uh, and provide all copies of every... Well, I, actually, I, I don't mind providing them copies of the DHL charges and the invoice and the proof that I've sent it back, that's not a problem, but it's its a very, very complicated thing. I rang DHL, they couldn't be bothered, they, that's nothing to do with me, nothing to do with them, they said ring, ring the, ring Border Force, ring Border Force, nothing to do with them. I said, guys, I made the payment to you, you got it, guys should help me get my money back. No, 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 you're going to have to claim that through... Border Force, the Australian government, that's what they told me. They gave me a number. This is the same number that uh, 30,000 Aussies are desperately trying to come home back. Yeah, that, that you guys are really good at managing shit. And I've got to be totally honest with you, FedEx and DHL, they treat you the same way. They don't give a shit about you. You want to get your refund, you fill out those four pages and send it to the government. It's nothing to do with them. They, they have processed your thing. If you want a refund, you got to take it up with Border Force. So i got to be completely honest with you. Border Force isn't exactly the most inspiring. I'll put some links down below to the Border Force website and the, the form. The form, the form is, it is form B653. you gotta got to fill out form B653. And in all honesty there, it is pretty... It's, it's refund of customs duty. So i got to be honest with you, FedEx, DHL, they don't give a shit. They tell you, especially DHL, all right, not, not, nothing to do with us. You take it up. You take it up with, with uh, Australian Border Force. And uh, Border Force dealing with them, well, don't try and ring them. There's 30,000 Aussies stranded around the world trying to get home. They, 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 um, they can't get back. Uh, don't think you're going to be able to talk to them and ask them questions. Instrument type. This form, it's typical case of government one size fits all. That form probably works when you've got a shipping container of widgets and you're trying to get a tax concession for one of the widgets that broke in certain instrument type in a certain tax zone. But when all I wanted to do was send a lousy watch back, uh, they've got nothing... Nothing easy for you to fill out. You've got to fill out all the... One size fits all. Typical government uh, department there. One size fits all. They're not really that keen to give you your money back. One size fits all. You've got to fill it all out. And obviously, because it's gone through DHL or FedEx, they made sure you've paid every cent, every cent of duty, every cent of GST, and they charged you a processing fee to do it as well. So I gotta be totally honest with you. If you think you can sneak it through as a gift, that's definitely not the way it works. You can sneak it through as a returned repair. Not don't even try that with FedEx or DHL. And if you do end up sending the item back legitimately, 
They'll tell you to get stuffed. They don't there to help you. They don't care. They, they'll just flip you, click and flick you to the government, to Border Force, Australian Border Force, to help deal with that. And, uh, yeah, yeah, that's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I'll let you know how it works out. But DHL and FedEx would have to be the worst possible ways to send a watch if you're thinking about being a sneaky one and getting the customs reduced or the duty reduced, make it a gift or a re returned repair, no way in the world! No way in the world. So, um, yeah, yeah. So I've now got to, uh, I got to watch. I've sent back. I got to wait. I've sent my form in. I couldn't, I, try, I was on the phone for an hour or two trying to get, ask them, how do I fill this bloody thing out? It's got, it's just like a, a form for a shipping container. They, they don't care. Border Force doesn't care. They don't give a shit. They don't care one iota. Uh, so they're not there to help you. So I've tried to fill it out as best I can. I've emailed it to them. I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you, ScoMo. Thank you, ScoMo. So guys, moral of the story is FedEx and DHL for sending watches. Expect to pay your full Duty! Always pay the full duty, of course. And if you've got a problem, you're going to deal with a big layer of bureaucracy that's just going to gonna smack you in the mouth. It's a plan until you get smacked in the face. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Hey, guys, check out my one of my best friends, Jamie Opulence, on YouTube. Just go to Jamie Opulence on YouTube. A fantastic travel, a fantastic channel from my good friend Jamie. Check it out, guys. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to introduce a new service to you. ValueYourWatch.com. Proud supporters of Archie Luxury. No seller's fees, no buyer's fees. That's right, guys. This is a trading platform to buy or sell watches. You can start selling for free. That's right. Uh, we advertise our paying for, for our paying sub subscribers on Google, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. It's a global platform. That's right, guys. Get fifty dollars off the annual subscription by applying the coupon Archie when you check in there. But guys, you can try this for free straight away. Guys, you can start listing watches. ValueYourWatch.com. Give it a try and tell me what you guys think of that. Subscribe and tell your friends and don't be afraid to get a paid review. 50 US dollars for a paid review. It helps me stay full time on YouTube and I will see you in the next one. 50 US dollars paid review. I can't survive on Google Ads. I need your support. And guys, you could also sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay as little as a dollar a month to keep me on YouTube. <laughs> Hey guys, Archie Luxury, who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co, that's correct. Vintage Watch Co in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co. That is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co. and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co. That is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.